Extra, if you're looking for some dark and twisted live entertainment during this spooky season, you can do more than just watch our show. <laughs> this is true. We have the perfect event <laughs> for you. But you can also watch our show. Uh, <laughs> the Stage Right Festival is back for its second year, but beware. We're told the frightening fun is to die for. Joining us on the couch to tell us more about Portland's only horror theater festival, co-founders Amika Hunter and Jeff Desitel. Good morning to you both. Hello, Good morning. thanks for having us. So you glad both. you're here. I love this idea. The creativity is just like bursting through the seams here. Why create this to begin with, the Stage Fright Festival? Well, uh, it just so happened that last year um, I had a spooky show that I had been touring all summer um, and Jeff had a previous uh, spooky show that he was doing and so we decided, oh, what if we put them together as like a little weekend event and it kind of snowballed into this whole giant festival, so. Love it. Yeah. Is this filling a hole in Portland, a horror theater festival? Is this something that people are looking for and now they can actually attend? I think so. I mean, we have a lot of theater companies, we have a great theater community. I, in, during this festival, I'm really interested in kind of getting people who don't like consider themselves theater people. It's like a genre that can attract like a lot of folks um, and just kind of showing that um, there's something for everyone in Portland. We have a lot of horror lovers here, so we're trying to attract them as well. Yes, yeah. and we have those details there on the screen, but j just to recap exactly some on the logistical side, where this is, when it's at, when can people start to, to kind of watch these things? Yeah, so we're two weekends, uh, Total, and we've already done one, so we're halfway through. Okay. Um, so we have a Friday the 13th special, if anybody's oh. interested. Mm. Secret promo code LUCKY13 oh. on our website will get you $13 tickets to the shows on Friday at 2110 Theater. That's where we're set up. And in the lobby, we have all kinds of interactive stuff. We actually have a real climb inside casket that you can try Both. out. <laughs> it's very cozy. I set it up all nice, memory foam pillow. <laughs> um, <laughs> So you can try that out, and it's actually for auction, so if anybody would like to take it home. Oh, wow. It's all yours. Uh. It's not something you would think that someone would bid for, but I can guarantee it will be a hot In this commodity. Town, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. If you're tired of this table, it could just go right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this yeah. is true. Yeah, A coffin oh, table. We'll yeah. have yeah. to uh, get that one approved by the manager. That's above our pay sure. grade. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk The climb it. inside aspect is kind of what chilled me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. but hey, better you climbing in than us putting you in. This, this is true. true. This is true. I'm too young. This yeah. is true. There are going to be some, some kind of like fun, uh, quote unquote, twisted acts that people can be a part of. This mm -hmm. is obviously one of them. What else can people expect at the festival. Um, we're really excited because we have a solo touring artist coming from Florida, Bruce Ryan Costella. Um, he's done an off-Broadway run of his show Spooky and Gay. Um, so that is going to be happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so if you do the Friday code, you can see mm -hmm. that show as well. Um, it's and like then, a, yeah. Yeah, and that show is going to be incredible. We've both seen it. Yep. It's fantastic. Nice. Um, and then Sunday, we are doing the Macabre Cabaret. So uh, <laughs> Funny. we have a whole variety of local acts and out-of-town acts, and we'll be hosting that night, and that should be a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. All right. What is this I'm reading about a living funeral show? Yes. <laughs> so on Sunday, one of our shows is a funeral service uh, for could be you, right? So mm -hmm. it's an it's also an auction item. You can bid to be the corpse star, and it'll be an open casket ceremony where you get to lay in that cozy casket, mm -hmm. and we invite your friends and family. We gather facts about you. We do a eulogy. We do tributes, and so it's it's all about you, and you just try not to uh, act not dead. Oh my god, that's gosh. actually kind of precious if yeah. you think about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would see. I feel like my family would be roasting me as I'm in there. Having exactly. To be there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Try a nice to make birthday you gift up. for someone. Mm -hmm. You know, oh a friend. Gosh. You know, Could you imagine? Some Surprise birthday gift with yeah. that? Yes, I've done many of these actually. No, so, Funerals for Life is my sort of side project. It's an <laughs> interactive event service. I really like that. that. Is genius. Yeah. Genius. Okay, before we let you go, mm -hmm. how can people find tickets and if they want to want to take part? Stagefrightfestival.com. All right. With that special code? Uh, the code will only work for Friday the 13th. For Friday the 13th. Okay. Yes. Lucky 13th. Lucky 13th. Right? Yes. Yeah, and you have a Friday the 13th to work with this we year. Do. Yes. True. Yes. Exciting. All right. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you guys so much for Thanks joining for us. Thanks for having us. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Ton of fun. Happy Again, the Stage Fright Festival. Happy Halloween. The Stage Fright Festival is underway now through October 15th. You can find it at the 2110 Theater in Southeast Portland. And again, for that full schedule and shows and a link for tickets, you can go to stagefrightfestival.com. Time is 8 12 and up next on AM.